Hey guys, welcome back. It's your favorite YouTube realtor. Today, I'm, I'm in Miami Beach and I'm taking you through this amazing six bedroom, six bathroom property. It's got 7,400 square feet on the inside, 11,250 square foot lot, and we're asking $9,750,000. Now, I just wanna give a quick shout out to the listing agent, Oliver, for allowing me to do this tour. And on that note, let's go ahead inside and get started. as you come inside before we get started on the property looking straight down there and seeing the water coming home every day that's got to be worth something it's beautiful refreshing and it's nice to be able to call something like this home but on my left the first thing that you have right here is a guest bedroom slash office the way it has the way it's set up right now honestly it's probably best just to leave it like an office it's got a great view of the front so you can see people coming in and it's got tons of space in here to even have a sitting area tv on the wall just really nicely done, the windows going all the way around, so you're definitely not in the dark in here. And I just love the texture finish on this wall, just something different, you know? Just, it's something out of the norm. And then behind me, a full bathroom with a shower and sink, and you got the whole facility right here. Coming across, perfect for when it's nighttime, the floor is all lit up. So you can clearly see when you're walking down, and it takes you into the main living space. Another cool feature, as like a cabana bath style as well. You can access that same bathroom from the side of the house right over here. But without further ado, here's your living room. This is the main formal sitting area of the house. Absolutely spectacular, honestly. This piece right here must stay. Look at it. You can't have this room without this piece. It's just really something remarkable to look at. And one of my favorite features about this entire room is actually the ceiling. When you pan up, just pan up really quick. Look at that finish. Honestly, that belongs on the floor just so I can appreciate it, but having it up there too, it's nice as well. And you got the hi-hats included up there as well. And then as if this room can get any better and brighter, you have these huge windows going all the way up, giving you the best seat in the house to look outside and really just get the best of those views. Even this backyard space, it's just refreshing to see when you're living on the water to have a backyard like that. Keeping with the open style of living, you have a dining room right here in the center. Tell me right now where a better place this could have been placed. It doesn't exist. This is where it was meant to be. This is supposed to be dining. You even have a hookup at the top if you want to put a chandelier, which is really cool. But nice, sleek, elegant, but still feels very formal so you can have that nice sit-down dinner. As we come a little bit further down, before we get into the kitchen, back there is a service quarters. You got bedroom facilities, pantry storage, a bathroom. It's a really great place if you want to host a party. And then as we just come into here, probably one of my favorite parts about this house, it's also my favorite room in any house, the kitchen entertainment area. The cool thing about this one is normally you have like a TV room and the kitchen. This one is really inclusive. So you can just imagine you and your family living here yourself. The TV's right over here. The kitchen's right over here. So while you're in the kitchen cooking, everyone's still in the same room. If you wanna get up and get a drink, Later on, you're not having to leave the room and miss a show. It's not like, oh, pause the show, let me go get a drink. It's all in the same spot. And because it's all in the same spot, you all get to share these insane views of the water, your rimless pool, and where your boat is docked up. This is a magical, this is perfect, honestly. I would love to have this as my own. But let's talk about this kitchen. Let's get into detail in this kitchen. So behind me, you got the huge Sub-Zero refrigerators down here. You have, what do you think? The top of the line Wolf stove, signature red dial, four burner gas with the pan in the middle. Listen, you like hibachi? So do I. I'm not even sure this can do hibachi. I'm pretty sure it can. And then you have the vent above. So if you actually, if this ends up doing hibachi, sucks all that smoke right up, no smoke. We're all good here. And then you even got a little bit more storage on this side. Pantry space, no one has ever complained. Oh, listen, there's too much pantry space. I've never heard that before in all my years. So you got it. All the facilities, dishwasher, and then even just the finish of the countertop, just something new and refreshing. It's just, you know, it's not that white quartz that's really boring. It's got a little bit of design and a little bit of character in it. Off of this part of the island, as you come further down, I love my favorite part about bar stools is when they're not in front of where you're cooking. It's kind of like on the side as its own table. So 
you got four facing each other, so no one's staying on that long line and I can't see you. It's like you're facing each other, everything's perfect over here. And then there's a couple more fridge, little fr drink fridge right here and an ice maker over there. Microwave, toaster. This kitchen is, does not have any flaws and the lighting in here is super cool. Those long light bar strips and then the windows going across to the top. What more do you want? So usually I save the backyard for last. However, it's just too juicy. I can't, I can't leave it. And this door feels like butter. If, if a door was a Rolls Royce, it'd be this door. <laughs> so as you come out, do I have to even say a word? I probably shouldn't. I don't even have to say a word. Just look, look at what you wake up to every day. Rimless pool, loungers, and a boat. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a Miami Beach postcard, if I could have made one. But you have outdoor dining right here. And then you have the piece de resistance of outdoor kitchens. Wolf grill. You could probably put a deer in this thing. And then you got grill, stove top, even just a little texture of wood at the bottom, fridge, storage, counter space, and the vent above again. Coming out here, catching the fish, pulling into the dock, cooking it, eating it. It's all part of the lifestyle, baby. This is Miami lifestyle. And then this sitting area over here, how inviting is this? This is, this is I mean, this is where you come out, sit down, just chill with the family. Smoke a little vape. All right, we're keeping our lungs clean these days. Actually, don't even smoke at all. This is where you just sit, no ashtrays in sight. Oh, I see an ashtray, whatever, who cares? 2021. And then as we come over here, usually on waterfront properties like this, you, you always have this nice pool, but you don't really ever get to have a backyard like this. So you actually have grass where your kids can run, your pets can play. The owners of this house have a huge German Shepherd. And you think that German Shepherd isn't happy? That German Shepherd's in heaven. It's got water and grass. Most people don't have that luxury in Miami. The property, just looking down this way, is also really nice, really easy on the eyes. And this pool, the finish on this pool is money. It just feels like silk. This is a Wagyu steak of pools. Why am I comparing things that don't have anything to do with each other? I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway, literally you got the Wagyu steak pool and then nice little shallow area for lounging the rimless hot tub over here and then as we come a little bit down you can see where the rimless pool overflows this is just really nicely done i even love the finish on the floor and then how about this probably the world's comfiest looking loungers looks like you're laying on some marshmallows i need to chill out with these examples <laughs> on the theme the theme of living in miami beach you know you gotta do it right if you know anything about Miami Beach, if you're a newbie, if you're out of town and you're trying to learn Miami Beach, there's one thing you should know. There's one thing you should know. You have to A, have a dock, check. You gotta have a jet ski, check. And finally, because there's no other way to do it right, you have to have a boat. How do you think you're gonna get to all those boat parties, boat bashes? How do you think you're gonna get to the ocean? You're not. And you got a dock that can park her up right here. You got 75 feet of water frontage. It doesn't get much better than this. But from here, let's transition back inside and take a look at the second story of this property. Let's go. Just take a look at how beautiful everything is. The steel finish, the lights as you go up, the floating wooden staircase. Come on, you seen this quality? As you come up, love. That's, that's how I feel about this house. You get your last look of the living space. Something that you don't want to forget. That's how beautiful it is. As we make our way further up, we're gonna start down on these rooms first, and then we'll make our way to the end. So coming down here, this long ledge, you can just look over, talk to everybody. Once again, you kind of have that feeling where you're included. Even if you go upstairs and someone needs something, you're not yelling across a house. You can just easily reach out and talk to them. So we'll start at the last, last bedroom. We've got a full bathroom, We've got a great size, a unicorn, included if you pay full price, we'll include the unicorn. And then how about this, your own private balcony, you can come out, put some chairs, get some fresh air, say hi to the people across. You still get that privacy since the trees are grown up high. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
just like the one before. Got a great amount of space. This one has bunk bed and sitting area and the walk-in closet and the ensuite. And again, this balcony is shared with the guest suite next door, but you still get that long, long balcony with the views, fresh air, very clean and private. Also, didn't even turn these lights on and look how bright it is. But watch now, when I turn the lights on, wow, now this room, money look how nice this room is but that's they made my point exactly you don't even need the lights on in this house it's so bright in here and then the next room is a, is a room that especially in times like this you're going to want to have in the house and we've got it for you let's go this way so listen we don't want to be we want to be six feet apart we want to go to the gym we want to be socially conscious we want to do all those things and guess what i got a solution for you how about having your gym in your house no need to social distance well maybe in if you have people in here but you got a place to do it, the floors to do it, so you're not damaging the wood. You got only the Peloton kind of treadmill thing right here. However, imagine you get some weights, you get some bench machines, you got it all. You got your own studio right here. The mirror behind so you can do your little, I don't know, I don't even, is that a workout? I don't know, that's a woo workout. And then place to sit down and hang out over here. And then all of this has access to the balcony. So on a really hot workout day, crank these do doors open, get that fresh air, get that pump in. And when you get all sweaty, there's no need to sweat and drip up all the floor. Full ensuite, walk-in shower, and even a closet where you can store a bunch of clothes on one side, change into the robe, change into whatever you're changing into. A great room to have. So as we come out of the gym, I know you love that. So you got this nice open loft. It can be a million things, just a chill desk area. But regardless of what you put here, Look at this window, just letting in so much natural light. I might as well, once again, just turn off these lights to save electricity because you got that natural electricity. But here it comes, here comes the best part, the best room, the best views, it's, it's all right here. This is probably, if you're gonna skip through the video, this is where you skip right to. Don't skip the video, just kidding. Okay, so as we come in to your master suite, closet storage on behind the door, closet storage going down all the way here. And a feature that I've been seeing in a lot of houses lately, not too many of them though, is when the closets have the mirror like this, it's, safe, it's so efficient. You get a full body mirror, huge and long, plus you get that storage behind. So it's just really convenient, really nice to have. Windows, and then, I mean, do I even have to say it? Do I even have to say it? Look at this. Look how nice and open this room is. No, you're not bumping into anything. It's clean. It's warm. It's cozy. I don't know about you, but how cozy does that bed look? Pretty, pretty cozy. All the windows are easy to close with a remote. So if you want that privacy, it's not too much of a hassle. As we come into the master's bathroom, take a look. You got this huge, huge, clean, open bathroom. And then besides all the closet space you have there, you actually do have a proper walk-in closet in the master bathroom. And then one thing, if you wanna just turn around, this is the best part. When it's time to take a shower and your neighbors are so far away and it's a sunny day and you've already used the bathroom and you've already taken a walk-in shower that has a curtain, you lift these curtains up and for a second, Wow, I mean, just look at this. You got two windows facing the water. You're laying here, Jason Matuk's luxury home tour videos on that TV. I know, it's, I'm painting the perfect picture for you. And then you're enjoying the outdoor view. It's insane, but that is so tempting that I actually want to just get out there myself and take a look, so follow me. You come down here. The cool thing about these doors as well they open up so you can actually get the corners to open like this as you step out the balcony goes down on one side and then it ends on this side take a look at this you know what's funny the weather report today it said 60 percent chance of rain now i don't know about you but if i stay out here any longer i'm gonna get a tan but on that rate i would like to say thank you for coming on this tour with me this house this is one of those houses where you tour and you feel like you want to just live here yourself but this is amazing. I really appreciate you for coming on this tour with me. Stay tuned because we got a lot of tours coming. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thank you for being loyal. I appreciate it. All right. All the links in the description down below. Bye.